Ooh, treatments. I love to talk about treatments. This is like my favorite self-care Sunday thing to do. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. It's Alyssa Marie here. Hope all of y'all are doing okay, hanging on. Today's gonna be a pretty short and sweet video. I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite, like all-time favorite natural hair treatments. I love them all for very different reasons and use them in different kind of ways or to get different kind of results from my hair. So yeah, if you guys are interested in hearing about all of that, I'm gonna give y'all all the deets. Just before we get started, please do make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell as well if you wanna get a notification every single time a new video drops. All right, so I love to talk about a good treatment. Honestly, it's probably my favorite thing to do to my hair. Treatments, deep conditioners, same thing. I kind of use those words interchangeably. But really, my main point of this video is to point out the fact that a treatment could really make or break your curls. So for example, you could go from having the worst hair day, your hair is super dry, it's brittle, it might be breaking a little bit. You can go from that to the most juicy, beautiful curls from using the right treatment. But on the other hand, if you are using a certain treatment maybe too often, you can then actually reverse all the good effects that you're doing and then actually end up with worse curls than you started out with. So it's important to know that yes, a treatment is a treatment, but certain treatments do different things. So when you're looking to do a treatment, you should always be aware firstly of what your curl girl issue is. So is it dryness? Is it breakage? Is it frizziness? Is it really nothing serious and you just need like a little simple pick-me-up? Like your hair is just a little dull and it's nothing that serious? You should always start by identifying what curly girl issue you're trying to solve and then you can figure out what treatment you want to use. So on a basic level, there are two different kinds of treatments really. So there's protein treatments and moisture treatments. Protein treatments are meant to target damage. So protein kind of sits on top of the hair shaft and fills in all of those grooves which are where the damage is and that's how it helps to repair hair. So then moisture treatments are just that, adding moisture back into your hair. So it is so important to not do moisture treatments too much as well as protein treatments too much. Like too much of anything is usually a bad thing. So you kind of want to find a nice healthy balance for your hair. So for me personally, I don't really like to use protein treatments too often. I honestly don't have any like crazy major damage issues with my curls. So I really just like to use protein every once in a while, either once a month or once every three weeks or so, no more often than that just to kind of give my hair a little pick-me-up. I'm definitely not doing a protein treatment every week. So then on all of the other weeks when I'm not using a protein treatment, that's when I'm doing my moisture treatments. So I have two moisture treatments and one protein treatment that I like to use in a nice little rotation in order to keep my curls popping, balanced, and healthy. So I'm not really going in any particular order, but let's just first talk about the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher. This is so delicious. So let me just show you guys the consistency. Oh, so can you guys see that it's like thick, right? It's not runny by any means. Like it's a really thick product in terms of consistency. But the thing I love about it is that when you actually apply it to your curls, it like just melts into your hair strands and just feels so delicious. So it's not just one of those deep conditioners that is super thick and then when it's in your hair, your hair is like super chock full of like heavy product. It doesn't feel like that at all. It just melts into your hair and then just feels really juicy and yummy and it's just so, so good. I love this brand specifically because none of their products ever have sulfates, parabens, silicones, mineral oils, DEA, and none of that nasty stuff. Y'all know I'm really big into ingredients. So I pretty much only use products that don't have any of those things, but it's especially important to make sure that your treatments don't have any of those things. Cause you don't want your treatments to be doing one good thing for your hair and then on the other end, it has all these other bad things in there as well. So I find that I like to use the brands that have more natural ingredients for my treatments. Like you're about to see here, all these products that I'm gonna be mentioning are more like on the natural side. So yeah, this double cream deep quencher is just complete deep moisture. If you are having a frizzy, just dry spell and your curls need like a real pick me up, this is so perfect. I also like to use this with my hot head, actually all of my treatments. I like to use with my hot head, which is by Thermal Hair Care. You guys have seen me use it on Instagram. It's just this little heated cap. You put it on when you have your deep conditioner in your hair, and it just takes the deep conditioning to a whole nother level. Like adding heat, 
allows your hair strands like the pores to open up and then the deep conditioner can get in and absorbed like on a whole nother level so if you feel like you're not getting everything you need out of your treatments maybe try adding heat and see how that works for you as well so the other treatment that I like to use for moisture as well is by Not Your Mother's and this is their Curl Talk Deep Conditioning Curl Mask. This is actually a recent addition to my collection but it really blew me away when I used it and has just really become one of the holy grails. What I really liked about this was that it did exactly what it says on the packaging. So the packaging literally says deeply penetrates curls without weighing them down. I actually use it today and honestly my hair is so fluffy and light and airy but at the same time it is juicy and moisturized. So I really really enjoyed the results and I really liked the fact that the packaging kind of lived up to what the product actually did. So in comparing these two I will say that this is a little bit more lightweight so I will definitely reach for this one when I feel like my hair isn't as dry, doesn't need as much of a pick-me-up, but still kind of needs something there to just give it some life. This is what I will reach for. Otherwise, when I'm having my harder days, my drier days, my rougher days, then I'll go ahead and pick this one up. But yeah, you can't go wrong with either of these. These both have different smells from each other, but they both smell so good. That's another thing I'd love to have in a treatment is something to smell just delicious okay raise your hand if you prefer for your hair products to make you smell good instead of perfume because that's me that's me i feel like that's a curly girl thing right comment below let me know all right and then the last treatment is going to be my protein treatment and this is by camille rose this is their nangai and subaki strength restore protein treatment i don't even know if i pronounced that correctly but this stuff is bomb so here in the packaging, it says it's an exotic blend for breaking, damaged, and splitting hair. So again, like I said, your protein treatments are really there to help repair some damage. So this is my regular like go-to protein treatment that I will use either every three or four weeks. I really just use it based on what my curls are telling me. So if I have lots of breakage or if I notice my hair is falling out a little bit, or if I just notice I'm getting a lot of frizz, my hair is not lasting as long throughout the week, that's when I'll go in and do my protein treatment. So when I'm doing a protein treatment, I always, 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 100% of the time, make sure that I use heat because that really makes a huge difference. So in terms of these moisture masks, like if I'm running low on time, I will just put this in, especially this one. Um, it says you can leave in for five to 10 minutes and that's it. You can wash it out and you're good to go. So I don't always use these with heat, but whenever I'm using protein, one, 100% of the time I'm using my heated cap. That is the best way to get the most out of your protein treatment. And if you're looking to repair damage, you want to make sure you're getting the most out of your product. So heat is definitely the way to do it. You know what? There's actually one more treatment that I want to talk about. So I totally forgot about this one because it's a little bit different from these last three that I mentioned, but it just hit me that I have to include this in this video. It's really important and this has honestly changed my life. And this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector, which is their number three at home treatment. This is bomb. So anytime any of you guys message me on Instagram and are like, girl, I damaged my hair. I have severe heat damage. I have severe color damage. This is always my number one recommendation. So initially I used to think that this was a protein treatment, but it's actually a bond builder. So it's a little bit different than how this protein treatment would work. This is also something that you can use every single week. So it actually says in the bottle, use once per week, or if you have damage hair, you can use it actually two to three times per week. And this, you guys, this works so well. So again, if you have severely damaged hair, use this three times a week and you will notice a difference in no time. I basically started using this after I first colored my hair. I was like so nervous about getting my hair colored that I was ready to do anything and everything to make sure that my hair stayed nice and healthy because you always hear the color damage stories and I did not want to be one of those. So I had purchased this and ever since then I have continued purchasing them. At the moment, I think they actually have finally come out with a larger bottle it does say for a limited time only and I hope they're gonna change that eventually but um, so if you guys are ready to check it out now is a pretty good time go ahead and get yourself the big bottle I promise you you will not 
be disappointed. This is also different from these other treatments in the fact that it's like a pre-cleanse treatment. So this is actually gonna be your first step on a wash day. So you wet your hair a little bit, it says use it on towel dry hair. So I'll usually wet my whole hair, try and detangle it a little bit and then apply this in there. And then you leave it in there for a little bit, the longer the better honestly, and you can also use heat with this. And then once you're ready to rinse it out, then you go forward with your cleansing and then regular conditioning. So if you're having some serious issues, you can go ahead with this, then you cleanse, and then you follow up with this, and then you should be good. Again, you still don't wanna overdo it with this protein treatment, so I would then balance it out the following week with maybe a moisture mask. But honestly, this is so good. I cannot believe that I almost left it out of this video. I'm really glad that I didn't because this is OG. So yeah guys, these are my current holy grail top favorite treatments for my hair. They all stay in my bathroom and I use them all in a nice little rotation, apart from this one, which I will use every week once I can restock. If you have a super holy grail product that I haven't mentioned in this video, Go ahead and comment below. I would love to see and possibly even try. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this useful. If you did, go ahead as usual, give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you still haven't hit that subscribe button, you can do so now and then check out some more videos on my YouTube channel. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.